Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Body language, the non-verbal signals that we use to communicate. Today we will be interpreting Tana Mongalulua's body language in her recent apology video regarding the biggest failed YouTube convention of the century, TanaCon. It's a well-known fact Mongolulua has been subdued from social media this past month, not posting much, or rather, nothing at all following the controversy. By breaking down and analysing her body language, the autopsy of her career lays in our hands, as today we aim to look for truth in an awfully concealed attempt at an apology. Eyes, frequently referred to as the window to the soul. Only four seconds into the video, and we can clearly see Mongolulua frequently looking away from the camera. One could argue that this emotive language portrays the distraction of the uncomfortable position in which Tana has put herself in. 21 seconds into the video, as she starts to explain Shane Dawson's documentary on TanaCon, I actually thought she was looking away from the camera. But as you'll see quite regularly throughout the entire one hour and four minute long video, she's actually looking at herself in the viewfinder, which one could again argue Mongolulua has mastered the arts of vanity and self-valor. However, we are shown multiple times throughout the beginning of the video, Mongolulua looking down, highlighting her sadness and lost hope. So many mixed emotions. Tana is deeming herself to be rather unreadable at this stage. What makes me further question her endeavouring apology is the fact that she presents herself in a closed posture, which generally indicates hostility and anxiousness. The way in which we hold our bodies can convey a wealth of information regarding characteristics. This hunched and closed posture Tana is subdued in throughout a large segment of the apology video prevails ideas of publicly distancing herself from those whom she failed. This is not something we generally see with Tana, as in so many of her videos she's expressive with her body language. Even prior apology videos she's had an open posture where the chunk of her body is exposed. We can almost read her like a book. This type of friendliness and openness is nowhere near as apparent in this video so far. When Tana addresses in her apology the shocking conditions at her convention and how far people flew over to see her, she constantly looks to the left, which indicates honesty. However, this doesn't help Tana's character endear to the fan she upset. To make matters worse, we are constantly reminded of the confusion and shock running through Tana's mind, through the vivid expressions on her face and her body language, and how she now sees this is not the way to go about starting a convention. An interesting fact to take into consideration is that she raises her eyebrows when talking about the merch she released to bring awareness to TanaCon. She describes here that she was shocked with the numbers and how many of the hoodies were sold. A Google search result proves that by raising eyebrows shows surprise and or mild disapproval. Both of these terms are executed in the segment of Tanner's apology, which is a factor that leads me to believe her apology is deeming itself to be authentic. When Tanner explains she had to do TanaCon at this point, because it had so much good PR surrounding it. She tilts her head quickly to her right, in an abnormally fast manner as if to shrug off what she just said. A tilted head pulled back tends to indicate suspiciousness, and the uncertainty of the tilt is combined with a defensive pulling back, which may also be a sign of submission and feelings of vulnerability, also heavily prevalent throughout this concentrated, well thought through apology. Now, moving aside from the deep and meaningful body language for a second, Tana goes on to pinning some of the blame on the director of Good Times, Michael. Whilst inserting clips of him treating her like royalty, we can see her quite clearly rolling her eyes. This is one of the most notable ways to express disrespect, disdain and boredom about a person or topic. 
Michael is a reoccurring theme throughout her apology series documented on Shane's channel. If you'd like a thorough analysis of body language surrounding that particular documentary series, I'll leave a link to one of the best YouTube analyzers known to mankind down below, which you can watch after this video. Continuing on from Mongolulua talking about Michael, the director of Good Times, she constantly looks up and to the left when referring to the fake monetary facade he presented himself to be. Subsequently, this is also another body language movement that some consider to indicate honesty. Was Tanner telling the truth about Michael? Is he, after all, partly to blame? And is Tanner Mongolulua not just pinning the blame on another party? Now, this is a perfect depiction of what was really going on before TanaCon took place. Tana includes footage of Michael showing her around the venue. Tana is almost slouched, sipping on a beverage of sorts, messy hair, no cares, and constantly looking at her cell phone. Meanwhile, Michael is perched with extreme posture, peacock proud chest, and an iPad in his right arm pulled close towards his chest. I think this is the only part in the video where I don't have to break down the different attitudes betrayed leading up to the event. Again, questioning if Michael was really down to allegedly screw up the event, and if Tanner really just didn't care. Alas, we are yet again provided with behind the scenes footage of the event managing taking place before TanaCon was set to premiere. Here we can see Tanner looking down at her phone, whilst Michael is shown to be heavily engrossed in explaining what will be going down. We can see this through his fast arm movements and expressive body language. Tanner moves closer to the camera while saying she believed that she could place the task of creating a perfect, safe, happy, awesome TanaCon in the hands of Michael. Personal space is non-existent here, whilst intimidation is heavily betrayed through a distance of what seems like 18 centimeters from the camera. The security and the capacity would be fine. I ask Michael Weist. Her tone of voice further proves this point, as she's pinning blame on Michael and good times. Another great thing about this behind the scenes footage of TanaCon is that we are truly able to see for ourselves the body language of both parties involved in the making of this event. It's for registration. We have the whole party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael is seen to do a slight shrug, tilting his head to the right whilst talking about the registration booths. We can connect this to the outcome of people getting sunburned due to the messy layout of the registration booths that were not properly sought out in the pre-production and formation of the event. The anxious fidgeting Tana does throughout the video whilst talking about her preconceived ideas of TanaCon is another significant non-verbal sign which further betrays her distaste and stress surrounding the event. When Mongolulua describes the rise and fall of security Good Times organised, she uses hand movements to express the negative exponential effect it had on the event. She finishes her sentence looking down, deeper and gloomier than ever before, as if to prove she knows the actual consequences of what not having good security can result in. Again, Michael is brought back into the story as she expresses her anger through a range of typical Mongolulua rage outbursts. Moving around a lot all over the place, we predominantly see this in a lot of her old videos. This shows how extremely frustrated she is with Michael for allegedly lying about how she was up all night partying when TanaCon was going to shit. At the very end of Tana's apology video, she pulls one of her famous cry cries. Scrunched up, about to tear up face. What's interesting to note is that usually there are a lot of tears in some of her other apology videos, as we can see here. I just feel like you're late. <laughs> it's just one of those things where like, we're supposed to <laughs> but not this video. Oh no, for she knows crying can only get herself so far. In conclusion, an apology at the end of the day does not always fix a situation or solve a problem. Action does. However, throughout Tana's apology regarding TanaCon, at least we can determine that she was sincere 
or at least somewhat, behind all the adverts and emotional music of course. That's all for this investigation, don't forget to subscribe, I'll leave all my social media linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation. Thank you.